So I'm playing smooth. I'm getting to bed, let her get ready and go in. Yeah. Wait, oh, pause. Go in, what do you mean? Like, make the attempt, you know what I'm saying? Go for the kiss oh, and, okay, okay, okay. and see what happens from there. Close right? The yeah. That's the plan, fellas. That is the plan. So I go get in the bed and I'm I'm waiting on Cardessa. Yeah. So you're behind the door. In my mind, I'm just imagining like what's about to happen next. Oh. I know how fine you are. I know how bad she is. I know how she built. Like, I don't study this moment. <laughs> what? So how did that come out? So a quick, uh, so <laughs> this is gonna be I so don't quick remember. when this gets edited and we, we go back and watch it, I'm gonna laugh at this moment. <laughs> Because this was the equivalent to my patty melt moment for you. Oh. Carnessa came out of the door. I'm thinking, like, she about to have on the baddest lingerie I've ever seen in my life. Bruh. What did I come out in? You had on the Chicago Bulls sweatshirt. And I said... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Wait, okay, so a Chicago Bull sweatshirt and what else? Like some shorts. And I was like, Oh, okay. You didn't do the whole, you know? And that's what got me. Really? I was like, Bruh, she ain't feeling me. <laughs> oh my God. My soul was crushed. I okay. was. So, oh, in my defense, my soul was I, crushed because I said, I know she had two outfits in that bag. <laughs> right. I was going to say, I probably, like, going by the vibe, I probably was like, well, he hasn't made an attempt or anything. So, I won't be like, it, again, I was really big on, with you in particular, um, letting you take lead. And this is, where this, comes, this is where this but is important, fellas. That. Like, if you really feeling a woman, go yeah. ham. Don't go, go <laughs> ham. Don't let fear, you know, yeah. mess up your opportunities because it was just misread by two people. Like, yeah. she knows what time it is. Y'all, I mean, <laughs> off the video, y'all see the time. <laughs> but when that happened, I really was kind of like, you gotta, you gotta imagine. In my mind, you know, like when them it be the like hyper speed video. Yeah. In my mind, before you get to the bed, because like you, you brushed your teeth or whatever when you had it when you came out yeah. and you brush your teeth and stuff. In my mind, while you brushing your teeth, I'm just jogging back through the entire date. I yeah. Patty melt with the onion part, but like I'm <laughs> asking myself like, where did I mess up? Where did I go wrong? What did oh. I say? What did I do? See, because you, but but the thing is, even with me, chew, because I'm, I guarantee you, I had two things picked oh, for that I, night. I, it, it was well, I That's why I felt like when you came on with that on, I was like, bro, I, I caught the hell. But in my defense, I probably chose the sweatshirt. Um, I don't know, just for comfort. And then probably the time of night, it was kind of like past that moment of then then a vibe from you. I didn't want to be too too overly sexual, you know, presenting myself because I already gave, I already gave you hella hella. When that door was when that door was closed, I knew the Holy Grail was so, standing behind the door. But my thought was, I'm still getting in the bed with you. Even though I got this sweatshirt on, it could come off. Oh yeah, it, it could come off. But when the girl, when, if, your, when your if girl, you take it off, <laughs> but when your girl, when your girl got to bed, like the homie, it was you. Oh, like, I, was like, I, was, I was like, I was so hurt, y'all. I was just kind of like, Are you kidding me? But I, I still. Feel I still so, got in the bed with you. I know you did. It wasn't nowhere else to I go. Didn't go you, I didn't go to sleep, go sleep on, on the couch. couch. You wasn't about to go sleep on that couch. That bed, <laughs> that bed was too comfortable. But I, I, I really think, thought... 
I didn't so tell here, you, hey, can I, I'll be more comfortable if you sleep on the couch and I take the bed. Or I didn't say none of that. I'm still getting in the bed with you. You got in the bed, and <laughs> I thought I really thought I got friends on, and I was like, I no, was, I was crushed because I'm like, but okay, and then so I thought you were gonna make some type of move in the bed. So maybe you got crushed, and then you was out. They say I know you was out. I really felt like it was over. <laughs> How did you think that? I I I was so <laughs> like you get in your mind, you know. What mm -hmm. I'm um, you talk to yourself and y'all. And, and trust it, no, this is not like. Oh, it was all about sex because I had yeah. a really genuine connection with this woman, and yeah, it wasn't about that. But it would, it would. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll be back for another time. I mean, it would have, it would have definitely kicked off something, you know, more. I believe. Oh, hands down. Yeah, yeah, because you were there so, for a while. We could have like dated while you were I, I, close. I've had several. I've had several conversations with some <laughs> very close people in my life. Yeah, and, uh, it that was an intersection though, and I, to this day I'd be like, bro, I just I always question myself because another misstep that I made, like if we take it to stages, what do we say? The hotel was five. Yeah, I thought. Excuse my language. She could bleep this, but I fucked up in <laughs> in stage six. Okay. And where that was was, I woke up that morning and I was like, "Bro, I really, really like this woman." Like, I don't know what I did. Yeah. But the largest misstep, and and this is when I I knew I blew it, blew it in my mind. We even had a, a decent morning. You had to you had to get back to Michigan City or something. Yeah. Now let me interject before I even go to there because this was us at the car, or whatever. That morning, like, what did you? What was going through your head? I was like, well, <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> I was like, so, to the title of the video, I guess this, this is where it's going from best to worst. <laughs> yeah, because it just it was never like clear to me on your part your interest in me because in order in order for me to like um you know kind of just show my interest back or you know i was showing you already but kind of i needed you to meet me match you wanted me, me. To re you wanted me to reciprocate what you was giving up yeah and and i can't if you're not doing that i can't move forward or I can't like really I'm not gonna push you or make you do anything I want you to do it naturally but right. I'm gonna be welcoming my energy is gonna be like I'm gonna give you all my energy like kiss me let's make out like you know let, that's why <laughs> I'll give you all of that <laughs> but you just didn't take that step I don't know <laughs> and I didn't want to jump on you I let a sweatshirt <laughs> mess me up. Whatever. I, I really that, did. The, that's no, an excuse. It's not an excuse. I really felt like I was like, bro. I, I I really felt like I fucked up somewhere, and I was like, okay. Bruh. Let me ask you this. So, were you a different person then, as far as how you dated and pursued women? Would you say you're different than how you are now? I overcalculate sometimes. Still, yeah, like I play, I play a scenario in my mind mm. over and over. Like I'm a calculated person, you know what I mean? Like uh, before I even go on a date, like if I'm really, really feeling a woman, like I kind of like play out how I want to do it. <clears throat> and I guess it's more so like if if you don't have if Plan A didn't go as planned, like what do you do? Um, the friend zone is the worst place in the world to be when you really like someone or you got that interest in somebody. And so when when I felt like that's where we went, I was crushed because I was like, 
again, I'm thinking in my mind, like, bro, what did I do? I'm jogging the conversation back at, at IHOP, and I'm like, did I, did I say something wrong? Oh. Um, you so just... I guess you, you speak friend, to, to the truck. You friend zone yourself. Huh. You really did. You had a conversation with yourself. And based off of what I was showing you every, what we say, number or stage or every level that we went, if we went through six different, what did you say? Stages. What did you call it? Stages. Stages. Throughout the, 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 night. the course of events, the, uh, the, the course hour. of events, the yeah. series of unfortunate events. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just what say, up, Ryan? it was such a it was such a great date though. It was such an epic date, and then it was. I don't know how it could be the worst and best date ever, but <laughs> no, I think that truly, um, five, top maybe five, top it top just, five. huh? I said top five, top five, top five, top five. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, it speaks to like confidence because you talked yourself. I was showing you everything. It was it was really nothing else for me to do but like come out the bathroom butt naked. I think, <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> He said, hit me with the Robert Givens. What's up? You like, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted you to meet me a little bit more because I was showing you every, and you just, you you were overthinking and and you just didn't seize the moment. Even the next, so talk about seizing the moment. The next morning, okay. I'm jogging in my mind, like, how do I fix this? And okay. this is what I, I really I really felt like, okay. Do you try to have more than sex? Is it weird? Like still got she still got this damn sweatshirt on, so I don't know. <laughs> Which can easily come off, but whatever. It can. <laughs> it wasn't glued to my body. <laughs> I just I don't know. Like you said, I, I talked myself into that zone, I guess. Yeah. Because it, as, I, I will say this, as bad as I wanted to kiss you to leave, I didn't try to. Yeah. Be, <laughs> that's why I was like, there's another, that, I, I, that's why I was like, there's another phase to this. Because I was like, I said, bro, if I go to kiss her and she kind of give me the like, yeah. I'm going to be sick. Cause well, I've been with this woman for a long time, and but weren't you still sick though? I was. Just like I was pondering over it. Before. I'm like, how what did if? Go what if? From, what if I did this? How did this go from here to just like it deflated? And I'm, but and so I take the ownership. I killed that. But then you know what? And then you know what happens? Then I start thinking, re like questioning myself. <laughs> like, oh, maybe he just. I'm like, I came up here just, just for a friendly, like. <laughs> so <laughs> what here's, what's cra here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. When I called a very dear friend, we already talked about this person before. It was later that day. Okay. I said, bro. I messed up because when I went back in my mind and I talked to Ryan, I was like, bro. And I told him that I hugged you and let you go. And yeah. I said it out of my own mouth. Uh -huh. That's when I knew. I said, why did I just not kiss her? And said, you know, like, I'll see you later. Like, we. Yeah. Because it was a thing where, like, I still, I still felt it, but, like, I didn't know where to take it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I totally misread it. And that's yeah. on me. So, it the, okay. It was the, after, the greatest night. After having this epiphany afterwards, why didn't you ever call me for a redo? Hey, Carnes, I want to make it up to you. Like, I know it's it, like ending on an awkward note, but I really, really like you. 
<laughs> so this is what we're going to do. Pick a weekend. I'll come to we you. We'll we'll plan some stuff and do some things and let's let's just have a redo cuz I really really like. Why why I never got that call? Stupid. In my own head. <laughs> In my own head. Like yeah. I, I I felt like, you know, one after reassessing I'm like, "Bruh, what woman drives however the long the drive was? Let's say 2 hours." Okay. <laughs> and then, 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 this is when it really I'm just started poor, hitting me. I'm just adding it on. No, adding it on, right? <laughs> this is when it really started to hit me, though. I was like, what kind of woman would come to you? Bride. Yeah. She brought her night bag to your room. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it, it, but I was like, but why would she come out the bathroom? Why would she come out the bathroom out the shower with, with the sweatshirt? And I was like, <laughs> what happened? I, you know what would honestly been the, the best thing? It would have been like, call you the next day, whatever, and just be like, yo, so this is what I was feeling. Yeah. And I know that, that date was not bad. Why did you no. come out the bathroom with this sweatshirt on? I could have just asked you instead of <laughs> jogging my mind about why you did it and then yeah. took it from there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Communication. Communication. Yep. I'll ask this again. In dating now, are you more like uh, intentional about I, your I'm dating? Definitely more, I'm definitely more intentional, but I will say like the fear of reject. That 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 stuck with me for a minute. Mm. Um, and that fear of rejection moment, just like. But I guess the the bigger thing is like you will always get a yes or a no. Like, the worst thing is that if a woman not feeling you, she not feeling you. It's like, bro, yeah. there's millions of people out here. Um, don't get too caught up in it. But for the record, did I reject you or did you reject me? <laughs> I guess when you look at it in hindsight. <laughs> Who was the rejector and rejectee? Did you feel rejected when you left? I felt rejected, yeah, that night. But, I mean, I guess, you know, it just depends on where you're at because you could say, you know, we didn't have to end the night with sex. You we know. didn't. didn't should, should, our, should our whole, like, foundation of a relationship with us starting out, you know, moving from friendship to possibly – dating or a relationship should it be hinged on if we still the deal with sex yeah. you know what i'm saying it maybe that's happen. no maybe it spoke to where we both were in our heads like why did it have to ruin our communication just because it didn't end in physical because that's what we were used to like you know what i'm saying like what i was yeah. telling you i wanted you to really pursue me that night or show some kind of interest, but because you didn't, we still had a great night. Like you gave me your time and attention. I didn't feel like you you was in a club looking at other people, or like we both had each other's attention. We we had great conversation. So I guess it speaks to about like this ideal of things have to go a certain way. Yeah, and if it, it doesn't, it means this bad stuff when really we had a great day. Now, it's not right. too many people to be like, I went bowling, we went to the club, we went to a strip club, we went to dinner, you know, like yeah. not too many people can say that. So I guess it's all about communicating what you want very clearly and being intentional and like, you know, just just um, <laughs> season the moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's true. But I, I ended up breaking my own confidence because I felt like I let you down almost. You know what I'm saying? Like, because uh -huh. I, I knew you knew I was feeling you, but it was like, yeah. I really didn't show that, especially at the truck. Because I was like, 
with the hug, I was like, oh, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> and I, I felt that, like, as soon as you left, I said, why did I hug her? Yeah. Why did I you know what her? I was like when, when you walked away? Mm -hmm. You want to know what I was like? I was like, wah, wah. <laughs> Well, I was like, well, another one bites the dust, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't, I didn't know how to take it because it was just, it was, I don't, and then I guess I have to take part ownership because I didn't communicate with you what I was feeling. You know what I'm saying? And that might, that might have sparked something in you like, oh, okay, she really is feeling me or would have, you know, um, it would have, uh, giving you like the green light yeah. you know how we communicated better <laughs> so I take, I take my ownership in that <laughs> it's communication y'all yep. awesome, yeah great dates bad dates speak up you know what I'm it's saying? so yeah. funny too i i never knew that part of the what you said was done for you with the switch. <laughs> I was just, I was like, <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> and I probably thought I was cute in a little sweatshirt. I'm like, she came out here in Chicago with a six, six trophy joint. And like, right. Are you sure I had something on under there? The world would never know. <laughs> They'll never know. They'll never know. <laughs> I think that's a great place to end it. I hope you enjoyed this worst date ever, best date ever collaboration with Big Reach. Again, Big give Reach. them your information. <laughs> give them your information. I am B-I-G-R-E-E-G-E -E -E on all social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Follow your boy, and I also have a podcast coming soon. Ooh. The brick, what we building over here? Let's get okay. it. Cool, the brick. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to do more collaborations, right? Yeah, most definitely. I, I, like I think this. this is good. Yeah. Like <laughs> so please remember, be like a pineapple, stand tall, and wear your crown. I love you so so much. Mm -hmm. It's your girl, it's your girl